Have you ever told yourself that you'd only truly enjoy life when you reached a certain benchmark? Now this benchmark is established when our current circumstances may not be ideal and when we're not content with our current situation. Maybe you thought when you graduated high school or university that you would be content and finally be able to enjoy your life. But after you graduated you thought, well maybe after I get married and have a stable job. Yet once you get married and have a stable job, still you think, oh, when I have kids, that's when I'll finally be able to enjoy my life. Yet once these things came true, you begin to start thinking that maybe only after you retire will you truly be able to enjoy your life. Finally, you retire and you're finally able to enjoy your life. Yet you feel regret. Why? Every moment on this earth is a chance to experience God's mercy and his grace through the things that he allows us to experience, the people that he allows us to meet, the things we are allowed and able to do. Every moment is a gift from God and through every stage of life there are hardships, there are successes, there are breakthroughs, there are things that can be celebrated and things that need to be mourned. But in every one of those things, we are asked in the Bible to serve God and honor him through those things, to have trust and faith in him despite our tough circumstances and enjoy him even in the midst of them. That's why I think that today you need to start enjoying your life. It's not about reaching for benchmarks that you want to reach in order to finally, ah, now I can rest. Now I can be happy. Now I can enjoy my life. But actually, there's a pleasure that can come in Christ, that we have through Christ, that we should be experiencing and seeking now. Not when we retire, not when we graduate, not when we get married, not when we, all these things, but now, wherever you are, if you're along those, wherever you all are along that path, not all things in your life are going to be enjoyable. That's just the way it is. But when we come to terms with that, we can see the grace that even through the tough stuff that God gives us. Now that is something we can rejoice in and even enjoy. And that's why it's my encouragement to you is not wait, okay, well, maybe next year when I graduate or maybe when I get married or maybe when this thing happens or this thing happens or this thing happens. But now, focus on where God has put you now, the great things that he has put in your life because I know even for you, even if it's tough, because it's tough for a lot of us, but even if it's tough, I know that there's certain things that you can look to and you can thank God for and you can be like, I'm going to enjoy this because it's a great gift from God that he wants me to rejoice in him because he is a great gift giver and we can find our ultimate enjoyment in him. So no matter where we are in our stage of life, we can find that enjoyment in him and in his great blessings. Just a little encouragement for you today enjoy your life now don't wait till you reach a certain benchmark but see the great blessings of god's mercy and god himself throughout our lives and begin to enjoy that and find joy in that thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like also leave a comment down below i'd love to continue this conversation down below uh, if you have new to this channel then be sure to subscribe because i'm putting out uh, new videos every two week actually uh, so it's an exciting time and i hope you'll come along with us if you're interested in more uh, content throughout the week go to dailydisciple.ca where i have all the videos and also exclusive blog posts that you'll want to check out um, thanks for watching guys and i pray that you continue to enjoy your week see you guys bye